factors is one of the most fundamental concepts of number properties. Let's jump in. So what are factors? They are the divisors of a number, n, say. Uh, factors are positive integers. Let's say if I say what are the factors of 10, so we know that 2 and 5 are factors of 10. Of course, 1 is a factor of all integers. That's fine. So then, which means that when we divide 10 by 2, we get a, an integer. When we divide 10 by 5, we get an integer. That is, 2 and 5, they completely divide 10 without leaving any remainder. These are called the factors of 10. Now, for example, if I try to divide 10 by 3, can I divide it completely. Look, what is 10? 10 is 2 into 5. When I divide it by 3, this denominator, it's not getting cancelled off by any of the prime factors of 10, right? Now, so then how can we make a 3 from the new, from the factors of 10? We cannot. So that is why 3 is not a factor of 10. Let's say we have a number 2 into 5 into 13 into 7. And if we divide this by Say 11. Is it divisible? Is 11 a factor of this number? Well, no, because the factors of this number are 2, 5, 13, 7. And the factors that we make by multiplying these prime factors together. Right? But 11 does not belong over here. And that is why, as in we can't cancel off 11 with something over here. Right? So that is why 11 is not a factor of this number n. <clears throat> when we say 10 into 5, that is 2 into 5 upon 5. The 5s are getting cancelled. And that is why what we are left with is an integer. But then over here, we cannot cancel off the 11 and be left with an integer. right? These are the only integers that it has. So that is why our 11 is not a factor of this number. So let's look at an example. So is 3 square into 2 to the power 5 into 7 divisible by 5? Now, we have quite a few 3s, quite a few 2s, and we have a 7. But we don't have any 5 in the numerator. And that is why we cannot cancel off the denominator of the 5 with anything in the numerator. Look, it doesn't matter how many 3s or how many 2s we have. right? We can't make a 5 out of it. I cannot say I take a 3 and a 2, multiply them. 3 into 2, that gives me a 6. It doesn't give me a 5. 5 is a prime number. There is no way in which I can make a 5 out of the factors of this number. And that is why when I divide this number by 5, I will not be left with an integer. So this is not divisible by 15 because this number is not divisible by 5. Even though it is divisible by 3, that's all right. But it is not divisible by 5. And to be divisible by 15, that is 3 into 5. It needs to be divisible by 3 as well as 5. 3, fine, we'll cancel off. But there is no 5 here. That is why the answer here is no. This is not divisible by 15. Okay, given that x is an integer, is 2 to the power x divisible by 3? So x is an integer. So let's say it could be 1, 2, 3, or whatever. Let's say it's 2 cube. So 2 into 2 into 2. Is it divisible by 3? x could be any value. We're just assuming one, one of the values. That x is equal to 3. All right. So then... Can I make a 3 in the numerator? I have 3 2s, but I don't have a 3 over here. There is nothing with which I can cancel off the 3. And that is why I only have 2s in the numerator. And that is why 3 is not a factor of this. It doesn't matter what the value of x is. It will still give me only 2s, right? x could be 120 also. Still, I'll have 120 twos. I'll not have even a single three. And as long as I don't have that, this will not be a factor of three. Okay, given that a, b, and c are integers, is integer this? So this, let me write down 65 into a into b upon 13 to the power c. Is this divisible by five? So first of all, this is an integer. What does this mean? 65 is what? 13 into 5. Into A into B upon 13 to the power C. So there will be a few 13s depending on the value of C. We don't know what it is. It doesn't matter. 
so of course one of the 13s will get cancel fine now we are given that this entire thing is an integer which means that if c is greater than 1 let's say we have two 13s in the denominator or three 13s in the denominator all of them will get cancelled with the numerator so a and b will take values accordingly let's say if there are just two 13 in the denominator then a or b must have a 13 in it and that will get cancelled it why because we are given that this entire thing is an integer so that is why a b and c will take appropriate values fine so when this is done when this division by 13 to the power c is done what will we be left with we will be left with a 5 and whatever is left over from a and b look this 5 will not get cancelled because we don't have a 5 in the denominator the denominator only has 13s so this 5 will stay so in the and it will appear in the result so now when we divide the results by 5 then we can cancel this off so the result will be divisible by 5 it doesn't matter what the actual values of a b and c are we are given that the values are such that this entire thing does become an integer so then the result will have a 5 in it because that this 5 will not get cancelled and that is why the whole thing this result will be divisible by 5 so this over here will be yes now we'll discuss factors of consecutive integers let me write down some consecutive integers eleven twelve right uh, whatever so look at this now every alternate integer will be of course a multiple of two once i get a two let this is two into one then next i will have a two into two that will appear as the number uh, you know after this and then after that then i'll have a 2 into 3 right so every alternate number will have a 2 in it for sure what about 3 now every third number will have a 3 in it look at this so on and so forth right because once i get one multiple of 3 this is 3 into 1 so the next one will be 3 into 2 and it will appear after three steps then this will be 3 into 3 which will appear after three steps this is how the numbers are right this is how the counting is what about 4 look at 4 so the fourth uh, integer positive integer is is a multiple of 4 4 into 1 and then next will appear after another four steps right then next will appear after another four steps and so on and so forth makes sense right all right now let's say if i take any two consecutive positive integers let me say i take these two any two right i take 4 5 can i say that one of them will certainly be even because of course there has to be a multiple of 2 in any two consecutive integers either the first one or the second one will be a multiple of 2 let's say i take 25 and 26 of course one of them has to be a multiple of 2 one of them will be odd one of them will be even what about if i take three consecutive integers any three consecutive integers say 100 101 102 100 now since every three consecutive integers do have a multiple of 3 then i can say that one of these will certainly be a multiple of 3 right 102 is a multiple of 3 if you remember divisibility by 3 we get the sum of the digits so here the sum of the digits is 3 and we, then we know that 102 is a multiple of 3 so by the same logic every 50th number will be a multiple of 50 is it possible to get a multiple of 50 sooner no